hello guys uh, welcome to this video uh, so in this video we will look at uh, how to build this pdf uh, viewer inside the browser pdf editor uh, using react js and you can see i'm running this application locally uh, there is a choose file button uh, as you simply select you can select any pdf file here and as soon as you select the file here you will see uh, the pdf viewer you can actually read your pdf documents right here this is the first page you can navigate to the second page you can zoom in you can rotate the page as well right left everything you can do you can zoom in zoom out so this is a second page we have the previous and the next page it will show you total number of pages so you can see that so it's a complete pdf viewer and uh, we are using a very popular react chase package for this to build this pdf viewer so just go to npmjs.com just search for this package which is pdf js dash dist so this is actually the package that we are using for this uh, application right here it's almost got uh, 16 million 3.5 million weekly downloads so this is the official website of this package it's called as pdf js library developed by mozilla it's open source so we'll be looking to do this the command is simple you actually install this package npm ipdf js dot dist uh, specifically just install this package here the version number which is 3.11.174 this is will be the version that we will be using for this application so the command will look something like this which is npm install pdf js dist at the rate 3.11.17 so just make sure that you install this version so we are using the latest version of react which is react 19 so now let me start building this application from scratch here so just build a very basic react functional component right here so we built this and after that now you just need to import this package here so for importing this package we use the import statement import everything as pdfjs lib And also we need to import the CSS file. It's not mandatory, so we will delete from here. So all the source code I've given in the description of the video, you can check out. And uh, now we just need to set the CDN here. So this is the global PDF workers. We are using the same version right here, 3.11.174. So it is required so we just paste, pasted this now we need to declare some state variables first of all the input pdf document we will be using the use state hook for this so use state will be automatically imported here then the second variable will be for setting the page number initial value will be one total number of pages storing that zoom level 1.0 rotation angle will be zero and then we need a canvas reference and also file input reference so these are all the state variables which we have required for this application so we have declared everything there now coming back to the jsx we need to we need to give inside this pdf viewer so we are using custom css so we have just styled these classes in the css so all the source code you will get in the description so inside this you will have an h2 tag right here which will say pdf viewer and right here we will allow the user to simply select uh, a pdf file input type file you will only be accepting pdf files and we have given a reference to it file input ref and also we have initialized a on change event handler so whenever user selects a file this function will execute handle file change so now we just need to execute this function which will execute once we select the file so we will declare this function handle file change event will automatically get passed right here so inside this we will first of all get the reference of the file here by using 
event dot target dot files and then we'll basically check if it's a PDF file or not. If it's not, then we'll show an alert message. Please select a PDF file and then we'll use the file reader API which is there in the browser. And inside this, we will use this onload function which will be an async function. So right here, we use this package here, pdf.js.lib and it actually contains a function where get document and we'll read this like this. We set the PDF document like this, set the total number of pages which will be returned here in this object pdf.numpages. You set the page number one like this. So if you try to refresh your application, uh, you will see I think the application is running here localhost. So it is saying that uh, useref is not defined. So just make sure that you imported useref right here. So so it will be imported here from the app. So if you refresh now, you will see this uh, choose file button. And if you select a file here, And now to show that PDF document, we need to make changes in the JSX. We need to update to show that uh, PDF, we need to make sure after this inside we compare here if the PDF document is available and in that case we need to show it and for showing it, we will be having a div tag which will have a class name of uh, controls container and inside this we will have another div which will have a class of page controls we will have all the advanced controls so the first button will be for going to the previous page so We'll attach an on-click listener to this, so which will go to the previous page, and it will be disabled if the page number is uh, smaller than. So we'll just put a condition right here. Based upon that condition, the page will be disabled. So. is equal to and page number variable if it's so this is your previous button and similarly after this we will actually show a inside the span tag we will show the total number of pages the active page total pages and then we have the next page we need to initialize this function go to next page so this is your previous and the next page so so now for initializing that pdf file we will show the pdf file in a pdf canvas container so inside we have a PDF container class. Inside this, we are checking if the PDF document is available. Then we are showing it in the canvas tab. And like this. So right here, if you see, we are setting this PDF document. And for rendering it, so for rendering the PDF file here, we will use this code here, which will be use effect which will automatically execute as soon as the component loads in the page so use effect will automatically there uh, inside this we will check if the pdf document is available then we need to render it and this will be dependent upon all these variables pdf document page number scale and rotation so render page uh, is a function which will be responsible for rendering the PDF file.
so now we need to make this function which will actually render the PDF so for rendering it we will make this function render page and this will be an async function which will actually hold the page number so inside this function we will first of all get the page number await use this function which is available in this library get page and pass the page number and then we will get the canvas reference and then get the 2d context and then we will actually draw the page on the canvas by using this page dot get viewport canvas dot height whatever is the height of the canvas same we will get the width as well and then we actually get the render context pass both these information canvas context and viewport and lastly we will render this page using the render function you see that so that's all that we need to do uh, if you refresh now you will see this preview select a pdf file to view and if you select a pdf file right here you will see it will now display the so it is all the source code guide will be given in the description so I just made a typo mistake here so just if you refresh now you will see these controls uh, let me just walk you through about all these previous buttons so in the previous go to previous page we are comparing in this if condition if the page number is greater than 1 then we are setting the page number to be this we are decrementing the page number value minus 1 and in the next we are incrementing it so previous page plus one zoom in controls we are doing it you will see this is the zoom in control this is a zoom out control this is the rotation clock counterclockwise you will see so this is a complete pdf renderer and editor guys that i developed it inside using this free package all the source code will be given in the description which we have used this package pdfjs.dist mozilla it looks something like this it's a single page application where you simply allow the user to select a PDF file and you will see we have all the controls so also check out my website freemediatools.com which contains thousands of tools regarding audio video and image